Hello, we're at the end of week four now. We've made a lot of progress. Most of our efforts at the moment are going towards getting the white box as completed as possible for playtesting on Friday. All these school kids are going to come in. Uh, we'll show you some of what we have done so far. Uh, on the art side, we're working on getting all the stills done for all the assets, mainly the English items and the interactable things, everything that's going to kill you pretty much, and concentrating on animations for the character as well. A bit slow at the moment. And we've also finished all the artwork for the vertical slice we were working on, which is a small portion of the game which we've sort of done to perfection to use as a basis for the rest of the artwork in the game. So this is essentially what the final product is going to look like. Um, so yeah, in terms of programming progress, it's been a fairly successful week. David's managed to redesign and uh, reprogram his initial level, ed uh, level editor. So it's now a C-sharp version. Yep. And <coughs> if you want to just go take uh, the guys through the functionality. Basically, since the last time you guys saw this, um, didn't have the preview of the phone which it includes now, which is better for the artists because they can see the scale of things and how it's going to look on the phone. Um, it's got a button now that when the levels are all made and they're happy, press this button and it exports all the files and images in the right structure that XNA likes. So I can literally drag and drop into XNA and it'll all sort itself out. Um, it's linked to a server at the moment, so any bugs or updates that I make um, will automatically update next time somebody runs it. Um, but as far as the game is concerned, um, <coughs> elevators are now working. Like if I go over to the elevator, if you notice the, the buttons as well, they disappear. Gives you a bit of time for the animation to happen and then the buttons reappear. So obviously in the future the, the doors will be animated, they'll open, she'll walk in, they'll close behind her, stuff like that. Another thing to show you guys as well is um, when you get close to an English item, I don't know if you can see it very well, it glows, move away, back again, it's a slight glow around the items, and you can't select them unless you're closer, which gives the character more interaction with the gameplay. So now that it's glowing, type, tap it, and it goes up into the HUD and shows you that you've selected that item. Perhaps just want to mention... Um... <coughs> Uh, Megan and Dave are now working on the uh, actual puzzles within the game, and they're making good progress with that, I believe. Um, for myself, I um, managed to achieve some animation and processing with Dave, and uh, yeah, beginning the audio and uh, tombstoning, so the kind of core essentials. So, good times. <laughs>